Hello everyone, welcome back to EM Star in Sport. In today's predictions, we are looking at Costa Rica versus Zambia in the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 as it is going to be. There will only be pride to play for when Costa Rica women go head to head with Zambia women at Waikoto Stadium on Monday. The two nations have already been eliminated from the Women's World Cup 2023 after losing their opening two games. As we see, Costa Rica's second World Women's World Cup campaign will end in a group stage exit after failing to trouble Spain and Japan in their first two matches. A 3-0 defeat to La Roja on Mon March Day 1 was followed by a 2 goals to 0 loss to Japan on Wednesday, leaving Costa Rica in third place and with no chance of making it to the knockout rounds. After picking up two points in their only previous appearance at the Women's World Cup in 2015, Costa Rica are still searching for their first win at the tournament. As it stands, they will be hoping to break their debt and in their final group game, but their recent uh, form suggests they may have their work cut out, having won just one of their last 13 matches. However, the FIFA's world ranking suggests that Costa Rica may not go into Monday's contest as favorite, with last stickers ranked 41 places above Zambia. Zambia meanwhile have struggled to produce their best form at their first ever appearance at Women's World Cup Finals after suffering five goals defeat to both Japan and Spain. The Copper Queens are left languishing at the bottom of Group C, while their hopes of making the knockout rounds are over. Zambia will be hoping to claim their first win at a Women's World Cup. They will at the very last least be looking to find the net and they can draw inspiration from the fact that they scored eight goals in their final three matches prior to the tournament however they will need to show an improvement at the other end of the pitch having shipped 18 goals in their last five games team new stands at the other end as we see uh, glariana vala Bose is expected to return to the Costa Rica side after dropping down to the bench for the defeat to Japan. The 23 years old is set to start in central midfield alongside Christine Granados, Y, Catherine Alvarado, and Melissa Herrera, expected to feature out wide. Glasgow City's Priscilla Chinchilla will continue to operate in the front two alongside. Monterrey striker Maria Salas. As for Zambia, Katarine Mosonda is expected to return to a starting lineup after missing the defeat to Spain through suspension because she got a red card during their first opening match. After featuring as a substitute in Zambia's first two games, Avel Chitondu could be returned and presented with a starting opportunity. Should Chitondo be given the note, she will feature in the front three alongside Racha Kondanganji and Barbara Banda, the key scorer. As we predict this game in favor of Zambia to be a two goals to one against Costa Rica. So Zambia need to keep a clean sheet at least in this game. Costa Rica and Zambia will both be looking to bow out to the tournament with a win that the likes of Kodangoji and Banda is their rounds. We think the Copper Queens have the attacking quality to claim maximum points as we see. Furthermore, we are going to be sharing you the points of how we think Costa Rica can also do it and why we think Zambia can also do it. Let's see what, how it goes. Okay guys, this is why you should back Costa Rica to win this game. Costa Rica's attack is led by Portland Town star Raquel Rodriguez. Uh, Rodriguez has 55 international goals in 101 caps for her country and is the all-time leading scorer for Costa Rica. Up and coming star 
Priscilla Chinchilla is also a building star, scoring 20 goals for Costa Rica despite only being 21 years old. Costa Rica also have a widely veteran in vice captain Catherine Avarado who has extended World Cup experience and a recent match with two goals during Costa Rica's World Cup qualifying run. In addition to talent, Costa Rica have better recent results than Zambia and that is why you should back them. Though neither team has a win in the tournament, Costa Rica will outscore by only five goals against the same opponents that blank Zambia by a combined 10 goals to zero margin. Zambia did not manage to generate a single shot in a five goals to zero loss to Japan and against Spain, Zambia yielded 13 shots on goals and 75 ball position to their opponent. Now that is enough reason why we think you should back Costa Rica to win this game. Now let's see why we should back Zambia as well because we are not looking down on Zambia either. Like Costa Rica, Zambia have suffered a slow start to the tournament. But the team does have offensive upside. Zambia scored eight goals in the final three matches before the World Cup, and Barbara Banda is a building star. The 23-year-old has 39 career goals and nine multi-goal games for Zambia. Banda once scored six goals in a single match during the 2022 Concacaf and Kosafa women's championship and she netted two goals in a friendly win over Germany earlier this month. Grace Chanda is also a strong player for Zambia with 15 goals in 29 appearances and Costa Rica have had issues scoring. Costa Rica have only four wins in their last 22 international games and the team had only 19% position in a 3 goals to 0 loss to Spain while giving up 46 shots in the game. Costa Rica were closer against Japan but only produced 6 shots against 24 to Japan and Costa Rica have a general lack of experience as we can see. So I think that should be enough reason why you should vote and back these both teams up to win in this fixture because as it stands now we all know these are uh, unpredictable circumstances at times when we meet with some certain teams we think they can do more than what we have predicted but we have always loved challenge we have always loved any team we have pre predicted against to challenge us and let us know that they have more momentum, more stamina to stand the game than what we predict from statistics. So guys, that is it as we see between Costa Rica versus Zambia preview and highlight. Do well to share your own points of views as we move to other statistics in this FIFA Women's World Cup 2023.